today I'm going to talk about the marriage allowance and how this might benefit you by putting a bit of extra money in your pocket. Now this is something that I first heard about when I was on maternity leave and a colleague said to me, have you thought about your marriage allowance? And I was like, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> but obviously I now do this a lot and this is something I've definitely considered. And it's something that we are actually utilised at a point when my husband and I were both working part time. He was earning less than me, so he was able to transfer some of his money, his tax free allowance to me and therefore I paid less tax. So in a nutshell, that is it. But I'm going to explain the full information so you can decide if this is something that might be right for you. Welcome to the Looking After Your Pennies YouTube channel. My name is Charlotte Jessup and I talk about all things to do with finances here in the UK. I love talking about budgeting, saving money, making money, investing and more about your money mindset. My passion is to help people like you understand your finances and make decisions so that you can get ahead. I want you to feel financially secure and to leave your financial worries behind. So let's talk about this marriage allowance then. We're going to cover in this video a few different elements. The first thing is going to be what is it? Second thing is how much is it worth to you? Three, we're going to look at the eligibility criteria. And four, we're going to look at what you actually need to do to make it happen. So first up, what is it? So this is something that was set up a few years ago. It's kind of one of those things that goes away and then comes back. But in its current form, it was set up a few years ago and it allows people who are married or in civil partnerships to transfer some of their personal allowance to their partner. So your personal allowance is the amount of money that you can earn before you start paying income tax. In the current tax year 2021 to 22, it is currently at £12,570. So this is how much you earn before you start paying tax. Now, if one person in a marriage or a civil partnership is earning less than this, they are then able to transfer some of the difference over to their partner. And what this means is that the other person is then able to have an increased personal allowance thanks to this additional bit that's put on top and ultimately means that they end up paying less tax. The idea behind this is to make sure that as a couple, as a household, you are paying a little bit less tax. It's there to encourage people to, I suppose, get married, whether that's an old fashioned idea or not. I think that you might as well, if you're in that situation and you can benefit from this, why not, eh? So how does it work and what is it worth? So essentially, it requires one person in the relationship to be earning below that personal allowance. So let's say you're earning £11,500 and that means you've got a bit left, okay? You've got like a thousand pounds of personal allowance that you're not using. So what you can then do is, you know, complete the forms and we'll get onto that in a minute and allow your partner to earn an extra £1,000 before they have to start paying tax. So this works well when you have one person that's below the threshold and one person who is above it. If you're in a position where you can transfer the full £1,260 to your partner, then this could save you £252. But you don't need to transfer the whole thing. So if you're only earning, say, £500 below the, the threshold, then you can just transfer that and they can benefit from £100 of less tax paid. On the government website, there is a great little calculator tool that will help you work out how much this could be worth to you in tax save. So go head over to that website. I'll link it in the description. Click there and check out that tool and see what it could be worth to you. So who is able to take advantage of this? So first of all, you need to be married or in a civil partnership. To do this, it has to be that the person who has the spare allowance has to transfer it to the person who does not. So that person that has the extra allowance normally has to be earning below that £12,570 to make it worthwhile. Technically, you can do it if they're not, but there's no real advantage of doing it in that situation. So one person needs to be earning below that threshold amount. 
Your partner, on the other hand, the person that's earning over that amount needs to be a basic rate taxpayer. And this means that they need to be earning between £12,570 and £50,270. If it goes over that, then it won't qualify for this transfer of allowance. You can do this if you are earning income from a pension. So if you are earning below the threshold amount, you can transfer your allowance over to your partner, even if you're both getting money from a pension, or if one of you is and one of you isn't. It's all about whether you meet that threshold for paying tax or not. So how do you apply for marriage allowance? Well, it's a really simple process and you can do it online. If you visit the government website, it will take you to a page where you just fill in a form. You will need some information first though. So you're gonna need to prove your identity. So this can be things like a passport, it can be wage slips or a P60. There is a list of all the things that you need online. Once you have those things, you can then just click the button, answer the questions, and then send that form off. It can take a couple of months for your tax code to change to reflect this. You will notice that on your pay slips, you will see a change in your tax code. If you're the person that is giving the allowance away, you will see an M at the end. And if you're the person that is receiving that additional allowance, you will have an N at the end. Once that's happened, everything will be set up. It's also possible to backdate your claim to the 6th of April 2017. Obviously, you need to have qualified within those years. So for example, if you're now on maternity leave or if you are, you know, staying at home to look after kids, then, and your income has only recently dropped in the last year or so, you can claim for the years that it was, you know, you qualify for it. You can't just backdate it when you were both above the threshold. Hope that makes sense. So any years that you had one person that was below the threshold, one person above, you can backdate that claim back to April 2017. So there you have it. That is all about marriage allowance and I hope I have clarified your understanding around this. It can be super useful, particularly if you have one person who is working outside of the home and then one person who is working inside and there may be, you know, not getting money uh, for that, then you can transfer some of that allowance. And like I say, it could be worth more than 250 pounds per year. We've done it and we've really benefited from it in the past. And I recommend looking into it if you think there could be a chance that you would benefit too. Thank you so much for watching today. Make sure you check me out on my other social media channels and hit that like and subscribe button. If you want to take your financial education a little bit further, then please do check out The Money Nook. This is my financial education membership. It's for people who want to learn more about their money and create a great basis for building a strong financial future. Within that, we have courses. So there's one on budgeting and there's one on investing. And every month I add a new workshop. We've got two in there so far and another one due to land in August. We also have live Q&As every month and group coaching, as well as a fantastic community of people who are working towards a great financial future. If you think you would like to invest in your money education, then there is a space for you. Do check out that link and I would love to see you in there. A big thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.